Hi, I'm Zach. On this channel, we bring you the best tools to get the job done as a professional tradesman. In today's video, we're going to talk about repairing stripped threads. So you're tightening down a bolt on a tool that you're repairing or an appliance or a housing of some other machine and you tighten it down just a little bit too far and you strip the threads out. You back the bolt out hoping that you stripped out the bolt and you can just get a new bolt. Well, that's not the case. You actually stripped out the threads in the housing itself. What are you going to do to repair it? Well, at first you might think, man, there's no options. Well, there is an option. It's called a helicoil. This is a brand name. Napa puts out uh, some sets under their name. Actually, it might not be a brand name. Don't quote me on that. Anyhow, I've used these to get out of a bind on more than one occasion. Let's take you in a little bit closer. Let's take the camera into the workbench and see exactly how these things work. So here's the scenario. I'm using a piece of PVC pipe to demonstrate just because it's a little bit easier to work with, but this will work in plastic or steel. And so this particular kit is for a uh, machine screw size 1032. That's a number 10, 32 threads per inch. So the original bolt I had in here, for instance, was a number 1032 and I just put too much torque on it and stripped out those threads. So now I have a, a stripped out hole that I need to do something with. So I went to Napa and I picked up this kit and it's labeled 1032. And of course I, I started by finding out what the bolt size, what the original bolt size was that I stripped out. And I, I pick up a helicoil kit that works for that size bolt. And also on here, it's gonna tell me the drill diameter size that I need. And so for this kit, it's a 1360 force. So if you don't have a drill bit index that has bits to the 64th, you're also gonna to wanna to pick up a drill bit for whatever size helicoil uh, it calls for. All right, so we have a hole here and we have a 1364 drill bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that out. And being plastic, it doesn't take much. Set that drill to the side. So we're gonna get a couple things in our helicoil package kit. We're gonna get the thread tap that we need for the helicoil kit, as well as, I think this one came with a dozen helicoils and then an insertion tool. Chuck this up in my drill. If you do chuck it up in your drill and you're using it in metal, make sure and put plenty of oil on it. So I'm gonna to go to the low speed and just take that in. And run it back out. All right, so now I have new threads <clears throat> cut into my pipe. All right, now I can take my insertion tool, <clears throat> which this has, I don't know if you can see there on the end. So this has a, a little catch there on the very end. Oh, come on, focus. You can kind of see that catch. There it is, there on the end. And in the center of the helicoil, there is a corresponding flat piece that now when I turn this, this driver tool, it's gonna to spin that helicoil in. So I can run this driver into the helicoil there and press it in and the end of this tool has threads in it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and thread that in just so it's got about two threads sticking out the end there. And then I'm gonna bring it over to my pipe and I'm gonna to start to turn that in there. And at some point now, okay, so now I'm gonna hold on to the tool here and I'm gonna turn that driver by hand. You might need to use a pair of pliers you're gonna turn it in till it's, till it's all the way in there. I'm gonna back this out so I can kind of see what's going on. All right, so it's in there as far as I wanna go. I can just back this out. All right, now the helicoil is inserted. So now I can take a number 10 
bolt, the original bolt that I was trying to put in there that I went too far with. And now these new threads are that original thread size and I can proceed with life as normal. So one note, there's gonna be left in there a, that little tab on the end. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Okay, so this tab is gonna be left in there. If you look real, real closely, you can see, let's see if we can focus there. It's not gonna to want to. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. There's a little, um, a little score there. That score is going to allow this metal tab to break off. If you drive your, um, drive your bolt down in this hole and just keep on driving it, it's gonna press against that tab and pop it out of the way and it's not gonna get in the way of anything. If you are using this in the case of a, maybe a gearbox or something where you, you definitely don't want any free metal parts floating around, you wanna make sure and, and pre-insert your machine screw or whatever bolt you're using and catch that tab when it breaks off so it doesn't float around freely in that gearbox. It's as simple as that. It does take some time and focus and concentration, but when you're working with a situation that you didn't know how in the world you were gonna fix it, this helicoil set can really save the day. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite tools are when it comes to house repair and maintenance. We'll see you next time.